Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Kroger brand. We have the stuffed mac and cheese bites, macaroni and cheddar cheese, and a crispy breading. And we have Frank's in a blanket, pork smoked sausage in a Parmesan topped puff pastry. Uh, this says on the front, it is a product of Canada. They want you to know that. These were $8.49 each at Kroger. And these have, a, the directions are a little bit different. So for the Franks in a blanket, you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, place product flat side down, one inch apart on a baking sheet. So they must puff up a little bit, I guess. Um, Place baking sheet on metal rack and bake for 18 to 20 minutes or until pastry is light golden brown. You can uh, make these in an air fryer if you own an air fryer. Okay, so I'm going to show you how these look. Oh, okay. They're cute little things. I'm used to seeing things like at Halloween pictures in a magazine. And they make like little ghosts or something. And they put like little <laughs> eyes on them or something like that. So flat side down. Is that the flat yeah. side? You think? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to, you put them on the baking sheet and then you bake those. We're going to go for 19 minutes because we're going to go right in the middle of the time. Uh, but I want to go ahead and show you these. The, the different directions, mac and cheese bites. These you preheat your oven to 450. Put frozen mac and cheese bites in a single layer on a nonstick baking sheet. Let bake for six to seven minutes. Flip them over and bake an additional six to seven minutes. Allow to rest for a couple of minutes before eating. And you can make them in the air fryer if you want to. So I just want to, I want to go ahead and show you what they look like just so you can see because when we come back um you'll just see them on the plate once we've gone through all the with the baking all there's okay so huh they look like chicken nuggets mm -hmm. that is not what i was expecting you know what i thought it was gonna that's just showing you the inside, inside. i swear i thought that's how it was gonna look i thought bowls. it was gonna look like a cup yeah like a cup and with that open and it's not it's literally inside like a chicken nugget well i'm glad i showed them to you so we're going to do all the baking both of these are going to go on a baking sheet in the oven uh the mac and cheese bites i'll probably go for the full seven minutes flip them and then go for another full seven minutes and then we'll be back so this is how they look once they've been baked. The macaroni ones, uh, they got a little darker on one side than they, than they did the other, but they do have a, a nice little uh, crispy crust on them. So these, once again, are the macaroni and cheese bites. They, and I need to be careful, because I'm getting crumbs. like crumbs everywhere. Uh, the calories, they are four pieces are 210 calories. Hmm. Wonder if we could just pick it up or if we need a fork. Probably really hot inside. Not too bad. When um, Ashley goes to the Cheesecake Factory, one of her, well, not one of her, her favorite appetizer is the macaroni and cheese balls. And usually she just will order those as her meal. Mm -hmm. So like she'll get those because they're huge, they're massive, and they give you. That sounds like golf ball. Aren't they? Yeah, well they're bigger than that. Oh, they what? give you a um, like a marinara sauce to dip them in. Uh, but she'll get those, and then she'll eat a piece of cheesecake, you know. So, um, but they're they're really good, and they are they're no they're like this big. Mm -hmm. All that's being said, these aren't as good as those. No, they're not. No. Now, these aren't bad, but they're they're really lacking flavor. Yes, flavor. that's what I was going to say. The big, big, big difference between these and those is the breading. The breading is seasoned mm -hmm. at the Cheesecake Factory, and so you're getting um, you're getting some seasoning on there. Mm -hmm. You're getting some um, some salt and some pepper and some. Uh, uh, onion, onion uh, flavor. Plus, you a little dipping sauce too. Uh -huh. These taste more like just regular, plain panko breadcrumbs. Is what they kind of taste like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just breadcrumbs. And I do taste the cheese. I do taste the macaroni. Yeah, you cheese. get it, but it's not a strong. I mean, like Kraft macaroni and cheese, the box kind would be a stronger cheese flavor than these. Yes, I think <laughs> though they really. I, if you want to get them and put them, I would dip them in something. Plan on dipping them in something because. 
They're very, very plain on their own. That's all I'll say about that. I personally would not get them again. These are the what, yeah. Franks in a Blanket Pork Smoked Sausage in a Parmesan Topped Puff Pastry. These four pieces are 280 calories. How much? And four pieces are 280 calories. Huh. 280. The yeah. cheese bite, cheese ball, the macaroni and cheese bites are 210. These are more than that. But these have a lot more flavor. Oh, sausage and meal is good. Now that. It's good, isn't it? That is really good. I love that. I love that flaky pastry. Mm -hmm. The little sausage in the middle too. Mm -hmm. It's not a hot dog. It's actually a, a full sausage. Now that, I could eat a whole plate full of those. <laughs> what, 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 what? Put a little, put a little weenie out. You mean just eat that? Yeah, eat the little weenie. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's good. Oh, it's delicious. It's got some seasoning to it. It's not, like I said, it's not just a hot dog. And the, the bread is really good too. I wish we had made more of these. I know. Those, those are delicious. They're, they're very, very good. And mm -hmm. I can see making, um, having a, let's say your kids have friends over to play video games. Oh yeah. Making a whole pan of those and having them oh, snack yeah. on those. And yes. Or if friends you're, over to watch the Super Bowl. If you're having a party of any kind, mm -hmm. that would be, would be perfect good. for a party. They're showing like mustard to dip them in. I don't no. think you need to dip them in anything, but no. they would be good with That would mustard. be awesome in mustard though. Mm -hmm. I love mustard. You know what though? I never like to cover up the original flavor of a, of a hot dog or what. I'm just plain. Those are awesome plain. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, the, it's the, delicious. I'm quite impressed with the pastry. The bread around it has a little bit of that Parmesan flavor. And it. it's and, and it's flaky. Yes, yeah. it's, it's very very, very flaky. And we love pastry anyway, so it's very flaky. And um, and and then the flavor of the sausage itself has so much flavor. It's mm -hmm. not just like just eating a hot yeah, dog. Yeah, because hot dogs kind of okay. Uh, yeah, but, but this is is much 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 better. Mm -hmm. So I would absolutely recommend you try these. Right. Um, and the macaroni and cheese bites. Eh, I mean, you can, but you don't. No, I wouldn't get those. <laughs> You're not missing though. out on anything if no, you don't get them. Get them at the Cheesecake Factory. If you've never tried them before, look under the appetizers and try them. I think you get like four of them. They're huge. You can split them between, if you've got two of you eating there, uh, we've done that before, mm -hmm. Ashley and I. We've split them between the two of us and then ordered something else. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.